Welcome back to Better with Ginger. Today we are going to be making chalkboard wine glasses. I got inspired for this because I threw a party uh, with about 12 people in my little apartment and we all had glug, which maybe I'll do a different episode on. It's super good. And we didn't have, we had wine glasses, but we had so many people that they would get mixed up. So we did the red cup where you write your name with the Sharpie, super classy for a party. Um, so I was telling my mom about it and she said she saw on a blog called Just Short of Crazy this cool idea where you tape the stem of a wine glass and then you dip the base in chalkboard paint and then it's a chalkboard. You write people's names on it and then erase them after they're done. So we're going to be doing that today. So let's get started. I'm going to be using a old takeout bin that I got somewhere. Um, we keep all our old stuff. If you don't have something like this, you could use Tupperware or an old tomato can, anything where the base will fit in. And then I picked up from a local craft store some chalkboard paint. I have it in a couple different colors. Today we're just going to be doing basic black, but you could theme it for a holiday. Like you could do New Year's Eve blue and silver or 4th of July, red, white, and blue, I guess. Um, so I'm just going to put the chalkboard paint into the Tupperware, fill it up because you're going to immerse your glasses. I pre-taped the stems of the glasses. It's probably going to be the most complicated step because you just want to make sure you have an exact line at the bottom, otherwise it could look really messy. So this took me a while um, and I didn't want to painstakingly make you watch all that. I also laid down cardboard on my table and then put parchment paper over it. Uh, this is because chalkboard paint can, once it hits wood, it's there for good. So you just want to make sure you've covered your surface. So I'm going to immerse the glass all the way into the U. And then when you pull it out, you want to let it drip. You can see it's like pretty, there's a lot of goo on there. So you let it drip, tap it out. And FYI, um, don't, don't let, don't wear any of your jewelry uh, while you're doing this because your rings here can get a, totally destroyed and wear kind of old clothes. And then you're just going to wipe it off and tip off all of the excess into the glass. And what you're going to do is you're going to set it on your parchment paper and then after 20 minutes you're going to rotate it because a lot of the excess paint is going to start to drip off. So I'm going to do the rest of the three and then we'll come back in 20 minutes. While I'm waiting for my wine glasses to dry, I made a, a little funnel out of the parchment paper that I laid down and um, am scraping all the good goo that's still left over back into the bottle. If you don't care about wasting some of it, that's cool. I understand I'm just uh, a little bit cheap, so I like to get it all out. So this is a way to do it. Um, when I originally did it, I just tried to pour into the bottle and catastrophe. So the funnel uh, may be helpful for you. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes and now I'm going to rotate my wine glasses. And you just peel them off the paper and then you're just gonna drag it along the parchment paper like this so that the edges don't have like weird paint bubbles on them. I love this project, like 20 minutes, perfect amount of time just went and had a peanut butter sandwich <laughs> while we were waiting. And I'm realizing now that I never checked to see if there's peanut butter all over my face. So if I'm a hot mess, just excuse that. Hopefully, hopefully you'll still get the idea of the project. <laughs> and voila, another 20 minutes and we'll come back and uh, we'll have wine glasses. So this is not my attempt at a vlog costume change. This is actually the next day. As it turns out, I checked on the glasses 20 minutes later and they were wet. And then I checked on them 40 minutes later and they were wet. And then I watched two episodes of West Wing and they were still wet. So I then decided oh, maybe I should read the bottle and it said, um, it takes 24 hours. So, note to self and to all you out there who try this, read the bottle. But it doesn't matter, they just sat on the table and dried themselves. So, I've removed the tape. They're really, really, really cool. Um, a trick for removing the tape, because that was sort of tricky. I cut along the bottom with a knife, because otherwise if you just peel the tape, it kind of stretches the paint out and makes them look warped at the bottom. So this just gives it a clean, nice look. 
Um, and now they're ready. So you can write with your chalk. I have a bunch of different colors. I'm writing ginger at the bottom of mine. And uh, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to test out this glass and see how it works. So, um, oh, oh my. have a little wine. This has been open in my fridge for a while, so I hope it's not vinegar. I hope I'm drinking a glass of wine. Um, so I hope you try this out at home. Post your comments about what worked for you, uh, your drying techniques. Maybe you have something a bit more clever than me. I tried a blow dryer at one point, hoping to speed up the process before I read the bottle. So cheers. Thanks for watching.